Hi, I'm Chris Bowman from the USPA Certified Polo Instructor Program. Today we're teaching a lesson on posting out the canner. We use posting out the canner at um, the t point where a student is ready to get on the field and play full field polo. What I like to teach posting out the canner for is timing, rhythm, and for rating the speed if they have a very strong horse. A lot of times a student needs a few more things rather than just the half halt. So posting at the canter can actually help you with that when you're trying to rate the speed of the horse. The way that I like to teach posting at the canter is to have a situation where you have a cone to identify where you're going to ask them to uh, uh, create a circle. I like to start on the right lead. It's just more comfortable for most polo ponies. It's also comfortable for the students since we play so much on the right lead. And I ask them to pick up the canner. I will demonstrate it first so that they can see that exaggerated posting movement. If a student needs a little bit of help or they're going to lose their balance, I ask for them to just uh, lightly take their, their right hand and, and they could just balance on the, on the breastplate rather than pull back onto the, onto the horse's mouth. We don't ever want to use the, um, the horse's bit or mouth as a brace. See, today I wanted to talk about posting at the canter, and I don't think that I've probably ever told you why polo players post at the canter, and I thought I would go over that, and then we would just work on it a little bit. You're getting ready to be playing full field polo, and it's just a, something that you might choose to do. Not every player posts at the canter um, reasons that you would if a horse is uncomfortable. If you have a strong horse and you have to hold it into your hand, it actually helps you give the horse a rhythm. A lot of times if I'm riding a horse that um, I'm, I'm having a hard time rating it and getting the speed exactly how I want, posting at the canter helps rhythm. A lot of times with uh, newer players that are um, learning to um, canter down the field. Uh, and I, I, you have a, a hunt seat background, so you're a beautiful rider. But a lot of times, if it's a person riding for the first time, I'll teach posting the canter so that they can get ready for the polo stance. Um, a lot of times, riders have a hard time getting out of their seat. Um, if you're a hunt seat rider, you've been in a two-point most of your life. You've been taught that probably at the walk when you were, you know, nine years old. But I like to teach the posting at the canter to get people ready for the polo stance. And then it, then they can hold that pose, getting ready to hit the ball. So I also use it for timing. Um, what we're going to do is just, we'll circle to the right through the cones. And the canter is a three beat gait and you're going to start your post on the uh, right lead. So when the right lead goes up, you're going to post, you're going to hold for one beat, and then you sit. Um, so you want to just, in your mind, um, hold for one, that one one thousand will probably work for you, and then sit, and sit lightly, right? Just like you were posting at the trot, um, not using the reins to pull on. If you felt like you're out of balance or you need a little help, you can um, just hook your finger on the breastplate if you really needed help. I don't think you're gonna need help, um, but I, I do like to mention that because in, instead of losing your balance and falling back and pulling back, I'd rather see you lose your balance and kind of just pull right here, and that's not gonna hurt waffles at all. I will uh, demonstrate posting at the canner, and you can just watch. Um, you can actually stay right, right there is fine. Um, we'll go over here. You can see I have re relaxation through my back. And now I'm posting. I'm going to catch myself. 
it helps me. I have a feel of the horse's mouth. Can you see the movement? I don't think I don't think you could. You know what I mean? The 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 horse is going to actually throw you into that rhythm. And um, why don't you try it? I think you'll see that it's a it's almost a natural thing. The horse. Yeah, go ahead. Hold a little bit longer. Between your thigh and your knee, hold for a second while you're out there. There you go. Think about if you're getting ready to hit the ball. There you go, very nice. So did you see when you had a little bit of that larger movement, um, some of the times you're doing a uh, small post, but when you were doing that more exaggerated movement, that would be like if you were really preparing to get out of the saddle in your polo stance and, and get ready for your swing. Because you're already, you're up and out, you know? So did that feel comfortable at all? Or? You should probably just put that into your repertoire and uh, add it in when you're out stick and balling and See if you can get comfortable with it. Someday you might be on a really strong horse or you might be on one that's very uncomfortable and you'll want to use that. So yeah, that was great. To recap the lesson for today, we were working on posting at the canter. Students need to be at the right um, level to be able to be taught this maneuver. It's something that they'll be using in, in different sequences if the horse is strong to help them with rating the speed or to just get rhythm and timing. And uh, today we worked on uh, balancing, recognizing how long to stay up, and it's a challenging maneuver, so it's, it's always um, a kind of a fun lesson to teach as well. I'm Chris Bowman with the USPA Certified Polo Instructor Program. Play safe, play smart, and play polo. Uh, for a second, I thought you were going to go. <laughs>